Hello and welcome back to Techno Ovo. My name's Steph and today we're doing something we've not really done on this channel before and that is thanks to Vodafone because they sent us out a brand new iPhone 15 Pro to help us make this video. So what we're going to be doing is really a camera comparison test between the iPhone 15 Pro and the Google Pixel 7 Pro and you may be asking why aren't you testing it against the Google Pixel 8 that's recently come out? And well, because we don't have one and I have a Google Pixel 7 Pro here, which is my daily driver and takes some amazing photos anyway, to say the least. I mean, I'm just going to show a bunch of shots that I took on a recent trip. But before we start, I wanted to mention Vodafone's new Evo contract plans. Now, Vodafone Evo is a way to spread the cost of your mobile phone between three and 36 months outside of an airtime plan. Now, this means two separate monthly direct debits for you, which does comprise of your phone plan and airtime plan. And this also means that you can get your airtime plans for 12 or 24 months over the usual 36 or 48 month contracts you now find, especially when purchasing more expensive phones on the market like the iPhone 15 Pro. So check out Vodafone's Evo at the link in the description now and get yourself a nice shiny new phone. Now, let's go and compare some photos. I want to state that in this test and in this video, I pretty much used auto modes on both cameras and did not dive into any of the AI features or even different camera modes unless stated on the screen, unless the phone decided it for me, like when Google activates its night sight mode in darker environments, for example. That was Google deciding that and not me. So let's start with some daytime shots. Now it's easy to tell that there is a difference between the two phones right off the bat. But however, I will say that even though these two phones are a generation apart and of course Apple and Google do their own thing when it comes to their color science I must say that I do prefer the more naturalistic shots of the Google Pixel 7 Pro saying this though I'm not going to sit here and say that Apple do a bad job with their photos because they don't their photos are a lot more saturated when it comes to color reproduction which makes the photos I will say much brighter more vivid and more colorful compared to Google but it does lose a bit of that natural feeling to the actual image itself Self. Moving on to nighttime, again, it was a similar thing. iPhone produced some really bright, extremely saturated images, and Google went the more natural route. However, this is where things got really interesting iPhone went for brightness in their scenes where Google seemed to produce a nicer dynamic range, which is evident in the stage shot where on the Apple photo, the stage is much brighter, but on the Pixel, the stage is a lot more in line with the rest of the scene. I might be again biased here, but I feel that Google is able to control harsher highlights like you can see in the streetlights and also in the church scene a lot better. Apple in their night shots also seem to be a lot warmer than Google. And I must say there is a little bit more detail if you are going to be zooming into those images as well. But I will say, being a freezing cold Christmas evening in the middle of town, I feel that Google did a better job at rendering that feeling over the iPhone that made the pictures feel a little bit warmer. Checking out the selfie mode, it is clear that Apple do a great job of rendering a really nice selfie. Now ignore the model in the photo, by the way. <laughs> In this scene, while sitting at my desk, Apple did a great job of rendering what I felt like was a more natural skin tone as opposed to a more purple-like skin tone found in the Google Pixel. Google also liked to use some kind of beauty type filter on their selfies, and although it does wonders for my skin, especially around my eyes, I do like the way Apple looks as if they leave their selfies well alone in their auto mode. As I said at the start, all modes were set to auto anyway. The lens is also a little bit wider on the iPhone too, which means group selfies could be a lot easier to take. Slow motion video is really nice, but as usual, and what you find with many phones is the sharpness isn't really there. But in any case, the in the examples I've done here, the iPhone was a lot more vivid than the Google Pixel, though the slow-mo effect and clarity was pretty much the same between the two. Portrait images on both phones do look great, though the iPhone renders a blurrier background, which I think is a feature that people would like a lot more due to that professional bokeh type look. The Google Pixel 7, Pro still does a very nice job of rendering shallow depth of field images and really it's definitely not to be sniffed at either. Macro shots are a pretty mixed bag between the two I felt. Some images the iPhone really did a better job especially when it came to text and brightness and sharpness but there were instances where I think Google had the edge especially rendering the ice on the top of some ice cream. Not the most interesting macro shot after all, it is a phone sensor and not a full-blown macro lens, but still, 
both phones I think did great. With standard 4K video, both phones are pretty much identical in terms of quality and results. Though when zoomed in, the Pixel 7 Pro I felt performed better. It's a smoother video image and therefore a lot clearer. Just to clarify, I did film all of these videos handheld. There were no tripods involved. Nighttime video again is rendered very, very nice as seen in the church video, though I will say that the iPhone 15 Pro was a little bit warmer compared to the Google Pixel 7 Pro. So there we have it, a near full and almost scientific, no, not scientific at all, breakdown of the photo and video quality between this year's iPhone 15 Pro and last year's Google Pixel 7 Pro. And as I said at the start, even though there is a generation between both phones, the Google Pixel 7 is an impressively capable phone. It's my daily driver and everything on my own personal Instagram has been taken with the Google Pixel 7 Pro and I am super happy with the results. But I must say, iPhone's camera is also an absolutely superb choice as well. I know that's not what you really wanted to hear probably, but in this case, it definitely comes down to the age old argument of what do you like better, Android or iOS? Thank you so much for checking out this comparison video. If you did enjoy the video, then please hit the like button, subscribe to keep up with our latest tech and gaming videos. And if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments down below. Also make sure to check out Vodafone's new Evo contracts and a link can be found in the description to this and also finally let us know in the comments which phone you're currently using and if you're upgrading what are you thinking about getting a iphone 15 pro or maybe a google pixel 8 as i said thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video or maybe maybe you're jumping towards the samsung side of things let us know in the comments below